Hi. <clears throat> Welcome to my dressing room. I'm going to do some makeup, which I haven't done for y'all in a long time. Um, I mean, truth be told, I didn't do a lot of makeup last year. I don't think a lot of us did really and wasn't sharing a lot of the stuff that I was doing because I didn't really want to. I'm going to do some makeup today because I'm recording a podcast, Asides. One of the best things that I've ever done. I'm very proud of it. Um, depending on the guest, I'll do something a little bit different. Just kind of how I approach makeup anyway. Like, where am I going? What's the vibe? It is almost like stepping into a character. Um, if you're an extroverted introvert, you know exactly what I mean by that. I do enjoy it, but it is a process. I'm going to throw a couple of products at you. I don't work for any of them right now. Um, most of them are drugstore products. I'm a drugstore beauty junkie. Electrolytes. Okay. And moisturized. I always want to moisturize before. I don't do a primer. It doesn't do anything for me. If you're a primer person, go for it. I really love this concealer. The idea is you want sort of like a triangle. And I always go. Don't pull with your finger because it's very sensitive skin under your eyes. This ring finger is the most soft that might not even be true and then down here I can go a little bit firmer to make sure that it is blending down into my cheekbones and then when I first started having breakouts in my 30s after I had both of my kids um, I switched to mineral foundations powder mineral foundations and the first one that I heard about was Tarte. You know, it's like 30 to $40, eh, I don't know. The past few years, I found a product that I think I like the same, and it is maybe $10. There's a little brush in there, but the brush is bullshit. I buy my own Kabuki brushes. It is the best. So I tap, tap, tap it into the lid that it comes in. Now underneath my eyes, I want a lighter, shade of powder. I've been using this stuff since I was a little, little girl. And then definitely want to make sure you get your eyelids. Don't try to act like your eyelids don't be greasy. Now these blemishes here, oh, I dab my finger in it. Blonde brow pencils. Can we talk about that for a second? What? Who's making them? I look like Eddie Munster. This one, and they got it right. I fill in a little on the bottom here and then I go a little bit on the arch there and that just lifts the face. I don't know about you, but I have like one eyebrow that just doesn't ever behave. This one today is like, no, I'm just not gonna do that thing you want me to do. And that's fine. I see you independent brow. Mm -hmm. I do contour a little bit. I'm gonna be on camera. It's just essential, I'm sorry. It is right about where the hairline goes back up at the top of your ear is where you want to focus on. Makes your cheekbones pop and creates more of like angles in your face. Makeup artists will tell you is to make a three, like here. Um, and depending on your face shape, you might need to go heavier down here. I just, I don't. Um, I'm a big fan of this. I don't even know if they make it anymore. They change stuff so often, don't you hate that? So I'm gonna take this, this light shimmery kind of like sand color. And this is light enough so I can take it all the way up. My finger to go up right underneath the brow bone. That makes your eyes pop. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring on my brow bone. Mine happens to be right here. Everyone's eyes are shaped differently. Two steps up from the sand color, this darker one here, with that first brush I used. And right there on the brow bone, you can feel it. So I've got small eyes, not directly at the lash line, slightly underneath because that will actually make my eye look bigger. So right under there. So you can see that's not directly at my lash line. I'm gonna take it in here a little bit. I look a little bit like a zombie right now. This will correct itself, I promise. In the corners of my eye, this lighter shade that we used on my lid, pinky. And I go, boop, boop, and then I blend it. I'm also gonna use a little bit of it underneath the brow. We're gonna talk mascara. I love mascara. I recently discovered my love for a lash primer. This is a brand that I discovered in the UK. It's got super fruits in it. This is a really fun part. My daughter loves to be a part of this. 
on the outside of them and also underneath the lash as well that coats the full lash but this is like <laughs> like white walker i would totally wear this you gotta let it dry you gotta do the mascara dry dance okay i have a lot of mascaras and they all have different needs and different tasks if you haven't heard about this like this gets sold out all the time this is incredible so i'm going to use this one today because i was just using the primer and maybe they're buddies and they don't want to be separated the first coat is mainly just to get rid of the white a lot of you are probably like that looks great stop there you don't know me very well i love good cheap things wiggle 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 helps detangle and then you want to make sure when you're getting in here Before they dry all the way, I go from the back side, the underside, make sure there's no clumps. <laughs> I have a girlfriend who can attest to this. I used to use a ballpoint pen when I'd be in class and I'd see a clump, but also a safety pen, but tweezers, the point end of the tweezers, lower lashes. I don't like using the same stuff that I use up top. I'm not saying you need to go out and designate a lower mascara, but if you happen to buy a mascara and it's not great for you, I recommend using it for this. And this is when I can't like look at anybody or down. You know, I do this. <laughs> Make sure there's no flex under here. This is an old favorite too. Traveling wise, it's great having a two in one. Wherever you smile, your cheeks pop. We're gonna do a little bit of highlighter. This is one of my new favorites. Hello, Halo. I enjoy a light, sandy gold, like hints of like peachy pink in there, which I, I love. So we're just highlighting what naturally happens to the, your face when it's in light, but making it more intentional. Uh, so. Don't worry, it'll look less crazy in a second. Then I just get like a normal and I just make sure it is all blending. It's like, it's so important. You ever see people you just wanna like, you just fix that. I'm feeling kind of shimmery today. This is great. I love this guy. This is like a bronzy. It's pretty concentrated. Dab, dab. Make sure that I blend it well. Very important when you're done with your makeup that you get from chin to neck down and blend it down because again you've seen those people it's like oh that's where your makeup started and where your skin left off nyx i love a roll up for whatever lip i'm gonna do i always go with a nude because it acts as like a base i don't fill them all the way in i don't find that necessary and i'm gonna decide right now what lip i'm gonna do i've got drawers three drawers of lip options. It takes me a minute. I do have my favorites that like easily I could take five products with me and be totally fine on a vacation. That's how I travel, but it's fun having options, right? It's fun playing. My go-to favorite type of lip is anything peachy pink gold, with a little bit of shimmer. It's just, it looks really good on me and I like it. So this, I love this color, Indian pink. Is that not keeping this thing? I love finishing off with a shimmer gloss, lip plumping gloss. I don't know about the plumping part. Your Cupid's bow. Center, bottom lip. Make sure we don't have any smudges or lines. And thank you for watching. And I will see you sometime soon. Maybe not, who knows? Bye me again i forgot one last thing this is a great product like a lovely little kind of sparkle that's it all right <laughs> bye